In addition to defining the stock using a bounding box, you can also define the stock by using a sketch. This can be handy when you're using a stock which has an irregular shape, or when using a casted part as your stock. There are a few ways to do this. You can do it by using an existing sketch from the SOLIDWORKS model, by creating your own sketch, or by converting entities from the model. I'll show you each of these beginning with the use of an existing sketch. I'll switch to the SOLIDWORKS Feature Manager tree and expand the features to show any sketches. Here you can see the sketch that was used to create the profile of the part. I'll switch to the CAMWORKS Feature tree and right-click on the Stock Manager to edit the definition. This time, I will use the Extrude Sketch option. For the Selected Entities selection window, I will select the sketch directly from the SOLIDWORKS feature tree like we saw before. The Extrude properties here define the depth that this piece of stock will be extruded from the sketch we selected. I can simply type in a value here with the blind end condition, or I can use a face or vertex of the model as a reference and offset a distance from there. What if the stock we were using did not exactly match the sketch profile that was already in the part? Well, in this case, the best thing to do would be to create the sketch ourselves that matches the stock. To do this, I'll switch to the SOLIDWORKS feature tree and select Sketch from the Sketch toolbar. I'll pick the plane to begin sketching on and use the Line tool to draw my stock profile. By the way, if this part of SOLIDWORKS is unfamiliar to you, see the lessons on the Sketcher in Solid Professor's Core Concepts. I'll add some dimensions and relations to fully define the sketch, and then exit the sketch. You can see the sketch has been added to the Feature Manager tree. Now when I edit the definition of our stock, I can choose the sketch we just created and offset an appropriate depth. The last thing I want to show you here is how to define your stock by using the Convert Entities tool in SOLIDWORKS. On this part, when I go through the SOLIDWORKS Feature Manager tree, you can see that the designer did not leave us with a sketch that shows the profile of this part as it was cast. On this part, it would be relatively easy to create a sketch that follows this profile but on complex parts, this can be more of a challenge. A better way to do it would be to convert the entities that make up the part's profile. To do this, I will insert a new sketch, pick on this plane here to use as my sketch plane, and select all of the line segments of the profile by using the control key as I select them. Now when I press the Convert Entities icon, you can see the sketch has been added to the Feature Manager tree, and the profile matches the part exactly. I'll exit the sketch to complete it, and now the new sketch will be available to use to define the shape of our stock, just as we saw in the previous example.